We're here. We're here. Hey, everybody, it's Andrea Chalmers and Lisa. Sorry, if you guys like watch any of my videos, you know I like like to start off with a little bit of a jam. Right, gotta blend it on the juice. And we got a kid in the background here. Everybody wave to my child, Chase. Hey, Chase. I'm gonna try to come in here. Anyways, we're gonna keep going here. We got recording. We are going to, I'm gonna dive into um, Something really important for people, especially if they're getting, if they're new into the online space, I would, I would think it's highly important. Um, where to invest your money in the online space? Where to invest your money, your time, and your efforts? Sorry, not just your money, because all of these things play a huge factor in um, our, in the businesses that we create and the brands that we create online. So, I am going to, in a moment here, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go over some slides with you guys. If you know who I am, I'm Andrea Chalmers. I have been in the online space. Um, nearing about six years now and I have um, uh, ventured down many different avenues in the online space. Now, when somebody is new and fresh and getting started and out, there are different opportunities that people can get into. And that's kind of what I really want to focus on today is I'm going to show you guys what um, options are out there for somebody that is entering in an entry level um, uh, business in in the online space and when I say entry level I don't mean by like making a couple bucks here and there I'm gonna show you guys the differences between different opportunities out there because some of them yes you can make um, a few hundred bucks a month and some of them you can make a hundred thousand dollars a month and and that's from starting out from fresh so I do want to show you guys um, the different options out there and then you get everybody that's watching this video can make an educational educational decision <laughs> um, what avenue they think is best for them because you know what there's no wrong way of doing things but if you're not going to take the time to actually look at the numbers and see if everything adds up you can head down a road um the wrong road for a really long time and um and it can be very very um disheartening when you are when things just aren't adding up when things aren't coming into alignment and stuff and that's totally cool because you know what the online space it's still so very new that there's nothing that you can do that's wrong if you are um, always open to learning new um, things out there. That makes sense. I don't know. Anyways, let me share my screen. Share screen. I don't know why this always takes me. Anybody that goes on to Zoom, you should know. <laughs> it's like this bright green button. Every single time, it totally throws me off. Okay, so I want to start here, obviously, on a positive note. I love to start on positive notes. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Anybody who has read Jen Sincero, um, You Are a Badass at Making Money, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing book. I have listened to it on Audible probably 5,000 times. I am not a huge book reader. I love Audible, though, and Jen actually narrates the book, so it's, actually, it's even more comical than the book actually is if you're reading it because you get her like real energy and sense of humor. Anyways, okay, let's read this. Our world, now more than ever, needs as many compassionate, creative, big-hearted, conscious people to be as rich as possible so we can turn this mother around. Who agrees with me on this here? Like, have we not lived in a world where um, for a very, very long time, people, the people that had the money, we always, we portrayed them as greedy and, or whatever, right? Um, Self-serving, and that's not the case. And more, more and more now that we have the ability to really um, create massive wealth for ourselves, especially through the online space and being able to, um, um, show ourselves on a global basis. This statement here is so much more achievable than the average person would think. We have that ability now to to create massive, massive wealth in our life, and it's not just a financial. It's it's an all around um, wealth between your health, between your um, financial status, between your relationships, all of that kind of stuff. We can build an immense amount of wealth. Um, just through the online space. And that's really what I want to show you guys here today because when I actually first started diving into hang on, the online space, I realized really quickly how many opportunities were out there. And 
and it was hard for me to pick one. And I'll tell you why, because when you get into something, it's like a nine to five job, right? You go there and you get paid or whatever, and it's great. You make money, but you're trading time for money and you're getting paid whatever your employer believes you're worth. Now it's kind of similar to opportunities online. You need to know what you want to, what you want to be worth. Sure. Getting started out. Um, you want to like people have that fear of, um, not knowing what their true value is, but with your time is priceless. We should always, always know this, that our time is priceless. And if we're putting our time and energy into things, we need to hold a much higher value on that exchange. Um, then we have been taught, then we, then our subconscious mind has been um, programmed to believe we are actually beings that can create an immense amount of wealth and and um, abundance of financial wealth because I know a lot of you are on here right now and that is your main focus and I get that because you know what if the money is not coming in we know what happens stress comes out it fear anxiety all of those things sickness all of that kind of stuff right if we can't pay our bills or money's always always tight we're living in a, in a space of scarcity and a scarcity mindset is not the place you want to be especially in the online space so here's a here's me that's me <laughs> Which online business models provide the most long-term freedom and impact? So for me, this was huge. I got into the online space prior to having kids. I knew I was going to have kids. I, that was my goal. I wanted to have a family where we could go and travel and experience the world basically and not live on the terms of somebody else. If you guys know me, I'm an introvert. I run a group called the Introverted Entrepreneur. The online space, 1,000 million percent, is for people, not just extroverts, but introverts as well, to thrive immensely. Um, but be, me being an introvert um, and working in, in a corporate setting like I did for so many years, I could never thrive to the level that I wanted to. My creativity was always shut down. And that's where I really had hit that turning point of, I need to do something else with myself because I'm not living to my full potential. People are constantly pushing me down and it's not their fault. It's my fault for staying compliant to these so-called society rules of society status quo whatever the gar hell you want to call it anyways i broke free that was it i wasn't doing it anymore got into like i'm gonna list these off here and and these aren't all in exact order so got into network marketing had a huge team built a really successful business got into direct sales and affiliate sales um had a lot of success with that as well online coaching I'll get into that really quickly here. And if, yes, it sure it can be for a lot of people. It wasn't for me. I didn't want to trade my time for money. And um, for somebody getting in on an entry level, you need to know a few things before you're obviously going to go teach a few things. So I'm not going to touch on that too much. For me, it just didn't work out for what I was looking for. Drop shipping. I had massive success in drop shipping. I don't know if I hear here's where it's distracting me. Massive, massive um, success in drop shipping. Um, so much so Shopify, the, the platform that I was using, um, connected with me and asked if I would become a developer for them, a store developer, which I did do. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a couple minutes here. Uh, did website development and hybrid direct sales. So hybrid, um, high ticket sales, we'll say. Okay. So this is my background. Now in the past five, five to six years, this is all the things that I've done. And I've had a lot of success in a lot of these areas. And you know what, along this journey for a long time, I was like, what the hell am I doing? Why can't I just be um, successful and happy? Why can't I just be happy? The problem was, is there was things about each model that weren't in full alignment with who I was and like, who I am as a person, who I was evolving to as a person. Not, it didn't, some of these things didn't feel truly authentic to me and they didn't fulfill my needs of long-term freedom and being able to create massive impact. That is something I hold very, very deeply and to myself. 
Um, yes, it's, it's nice to be able to generate a wealth of income, but if you cannot impact other people along the way, you will find out very, very quickly how unrewarding raking in the dough is <laughs> if you can't help other people along the way. So I'm going to show you here that only one model provided that true financial and time freedom for me. And I'm going to explain in, in, in depth here. So if you guys are watching this video, maybe get a pen and paper. Um, make sure you don't have any distractions. I'm going to go over numbers and I'm going to go over some pros and cons. So we're going to start here. I'm just going to list off the things I'm not going to talk about here. Website development. Um, online coaching. I'm not going to go too, too far into direct sales. I'll talk about it a little bit, but website development and online coaching, it was a direct trade of time for money. Um, unless I was going to create courses and stuff like that, which I have done, um, I wasn't able to really automate and leverage the full online space. And I, and we'll talk about more of this as we get into the slides, but so those are the two things I'm not going to talk about here because somebody coming in at an entry level is not going to become a website developer and they're probably not going to become an online coach because you do need to have some sort of um, um, knowledge or experience where you can actually go out and get clients. So we're not going to talk about that. So what I am going to talk about here first is I'm going to talk about e-commerce and drop shipping. Drop shipping, I um, went and took a few courses on it. Um, this was one of my real big ventures when I first started out. Uh, sure, I started in network marketing a little more offline, but when I really entered the online space, I really got into drop shipping first and, and had way more success than I was prepared for. And so I'm going to talk to you guys about this. Let's get into some slides here about pros and cons. So who, like, if you've ever done drop shipping before, I know a lot of you guys are going to be able to relate to this. If you haven't, these are things that you need to know prior to. Okay. E-commerce and drop shipping. So Amazon, um, Shopify, whatever other platforms are out there. Those are the two main ones. I stuck with Shopify. Um, I find Amazon has way too many rules. Um, having stores inside of them i feel amazon is a little unpredictable with um being able to to know your numbers and to create long-term wealth i feel like they may their intentions long term may not benefit the individual um in the long run and that is my personal opinion i don't know 100 percent. i find they're really tricky to deal with and so I kind of stayed clear of them. Yes, my Shopify store can inter um, integrate it onto uh, Amazon's platform, but my sole basis was through Shopify. So let's talk about the pros here. Um, no recruiting. If anyone's ever been in network marketing or anything and had to um, build teams in order to uh, create any type of revenue or residual income coming in, you have to recruit people. Hang on a sec. There's no qualifications. And this kind of goes with this as well, because I know most people, they get it, their first experience usually is with something like MLM or network marketing. So there's no sort of qualifications or anything like that with, with drop shipping. You earn 100% of your commissions with many other um, opportunities out there. You get a portion, right? You'll get a percentage and uh, all these different variables and stuff like that. So with shop, um, with drop shipping, whatever you set your margins to and whatever the commissions are, um, minus whatever fees you have to pay out, 100% of that commission is yours. It is a global market. Um, for the most part, depending who you choose as your supplier, um, more than likely it will be a completely global market. So you have the ability to market to everybody in the world that is looking for whatever it is, whatever niche you've chosen. Cheap startup costs. like. Shopify in general, it's like base, base, base um, platform, 29 bucks a month. I ran my store on 29 bucks a month, plus some plugins and stuff like that. But essentially it's really, really cheap to get started. And there's a lot of um, automation that you can leverage. So it's actually really cool. Like Shopify drop shipping is a very, very interesting business model online. So here's the cons to it. There's no leveraging of other people's efforts unless you're paying them, right? Unless you're hiring staff, all the work that you're doing to run your virtual store will be done by you. 
cost of potential returns and loss shipping, et cetera. This happens and this happens a lot. I'm in Canada and um, that was a huge problem with shipping out globally was um, I, my manufacturers, the suppliers I was using were from China. And if shipping gets lost, then you know what, you have to deal with it. And if you're, hopefully your supplier will be able to help you with them um, resending things out and stuff but you know what it's all time and it's stressful stuff that um you have to deal with as a business owner um these are things you cannot avoid um the more you scale the more time is required for your business to run smoothly it's kind of like what i just said the more sales you get coming in the more orders you need to process the more um tracking you need to um, stay up to date on all of the the logistics side the back side of things the more sales you get the more work you have to do, unless you're hiring people uh, to do this for you. But when you start hiring people, then you're running a business. So it, it's, it can be really tricky, especially if somebody's brand new in the online space, because it's hard to start hiring a bunch of staff when you're still really new. Now, the high monthly market, it's a, there's a high monthly marketing investment. If you are getting a lot of sales in, depending how much your products are that you are selling, you do need to purchase your products first, and then you get your payment afterwards, right? Um, drop shipping, it's basically arbitrage. You go and purchase something at a price, I'm like trying to show my hands here. You purchase something for say $9.99, and then you go and sell it for $29.99. You need to go and purchase that first. And if you're doing something like um, selling stuff that are a higher ticket, right? $150 and selling it for $350, you do need to purchase first. So if you're having a ton of purchases coming through, you do need to make sure that you have the funds to actually fulfill those orders. Um, now, this is something that super, super important. And I cannot uh, stress this enough. It's extremely, extremely competitive. Drop shipping has become very, very competitive. Whoever is willing to earn the lowest margins wins. Unless you have a, such a solid marketing um, strategy in place where you have leads coming in just like crazy, you to start off and actually be very successful in drop shipping, you are going to have to lower your margins to be able to be competitive with all of the saturation that's out there because once people really got a hold of drop shipping this is kind of ran like crazy and everybody's selling the same things they're all very similar and it's just a very oversaturated market but with that being said it doesn't mean that you can't make sales but you need to have a very powerful marketing um strategy in place or you need to be willing as well to lower your margins so that you are the person who gets the the purchase um there's payment um processing fees platform fees plug-in fees uh every single purchase that is made through your store whether it's through paypal shopify amazon whatever they take a cut so um whatever it is, I can't, I can't remember. I think it's 2.7 to 3.2 or something percent off of each purchase plus, a, um, I think it's like 10 cents on each order, no matter what. So the three to 2.7 to 3.2 percent on the actual order itself. And then there's like a processing fee. I think it's about 10 cents. Um, there's no mentorship or team support. And this is really hard because when I first got into shop or to, into drop shipping, I had already had uh, quite a large experience uh, in in network marketing. I've built I built a large teams. I had great mentorship, and going into shop of, uh, going into drop shipping, I didn't have a whole lot of mentorship. Yes, I had Shopify um, guru, as they call them, actually helping me. I could send them questions whenever, and they they were really quick to get back. But there was nobody that could really guide me with a blueprint of how to do things and I, luckily I, I really lucked out in drop shipping but i didn't love it and i didn't love it it became very lonely it became very exhausting at the time my daughter was i think about three months old when i first started my store and i became so busy that it was like around the clock processing orders dealing with um customer um, questions and complaints and loss shippings and uh, just 
all of the logistics side of things, it got very, very time consuming. And it really felt like just running a, a, a business where me and my husband have done this before. We've run brick and mortar businesses and it really became that kind of feeling. And I didn't want to go and start hiring a ton of people because I knew right off the bat or not right off the bat, but I knew pretty quickly in this wasn't something I wanted to do long term. Now, inside that time, Shopify did connect with me and asked me to become a developer. And I, and I um, said yes, and I have developed stores for other people and stuff. And I don't mind doing that. But again, it's time. It takes a lot of time to do these things, do it properly. And uh, I really wanted to steer myself into a position. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I really wanted to put myself in a position where I wasn't needing, I wasn't required to work around the clock every single day um, in order to create financial freedom for my family. I knew there was other options in the online space. So let's talk about um, network marketing and MLM, MLM more specifically. This is another huge um, entry level kind of thing people get into in the online space. Now, MLM and network marketing aren't exactly an online business, but a lot of people go and take their business and put it online to bring in leads on a global basis, right? It makes sense. It's network marketing, social networking, right? Facebook, all of that social media kind of stuff. It, it makes sense, right? So let's talk about this here. On, if you wanted to earn $10,000, um, that was your monthly goal. You wanted to be able to hit that um, monthly. Know that you, were, you could actually hit that uh, many people are going to tell you that they're not going to be able to give you numbers and I'm going to give you numbers because I'm a numbers person and in the online space, you got to know your numbers. So $10,000 monthly goal. So in a traditional compensation plan, um, so you bought a product, you bought in for $500. Now some people on here maybe bought it, like if you're in network marketing or MLM, you bought in for less or maybe bought in for more. We're just going to keep it very generic with the numbers so you can kind of get an idea. So you bought in for $500 um, and then er you earn a 20% commission on every direct sale that you make. That pays, that would pay you out a hundred dollars. Now I know a lot of people are going to say there's so many different variables and um, the comp plans that I've seen, there's like 5,000 different ways to pay you out. That does not matter. If you do not understand the, fundamentals of your comp plan you don't um you're not going to go very far and you're going to find that the vision that you have for your future is not going to align align with the vehicle your business that is going to get you to that dream because it's not going to get you there if you don't know your numbers so for, this is basing it off of if nobody else is doing any work inside of your business you're the only one doing it because that is how you should have the mindset when you first get started out, you are going to be needing to hustle, right? Um, and be bringing in sales. You cannot rely on other people. I cannot just stress this enough. I've been in this industry. Um, I've built lots of teams I've, and you cannot just rely on other people to um, build your business for you. It's just not going to happen. Uh, okay, so say you wanted to earn $1,000 a month, you would need to make 10 sales, right? Fair enough. Say you wanted to make $3,000 a month, you would need to make 30 sales, right? Basic math. So you wanted to earn $5,000 a month. That would cover your mortgage, your utilities, maybe your car payment, um, allow you to basically quit your job, like replace your income. You would need to make 50 sales a month. And then if you wanted to earn $10,000 uh, a month, you would need to make 100 sales, right? Uh, direct sales. So, how many people is that that you need to talk to, right? With a closing rate of 10%, uh, with a 10% closing ratio, you need to pitch your business to a thousand people a month. And I'm not talking about spamming people and um, just sending them little thing like, hey, check this out, right? I mean, like actually having real um, conversations with leads, really pitching them on your business. One out of 10 people. And, and that's kind of generous too, especially when somebody's getting started out, it's, it can vary so much uh, people's level of uh, being able to, to sell because selling is an art of its own. So we're going to keep it at 10% here. You would need to talk to a thousand people and I can promise you, I'm not going to talk to a thousand people a month. 
with me also being an introvert, I, you're le I'm lucky to talk to maybe 40 people a month. That's just not my thing. If you want to talk to a thousand people a month, that's, that's totally up to you. That's not at all what um, creating time and financial freedom is about in my mind. To me, that is working around the clock nonstop forever and ever and ever, hustling, chasing something that um, you're, it's never going to end, right? That means that you're going to have to talk to over 30 leads a day. Like who's, like, who's going to sit there and do that? You can, and if that's for you, then that's totally fine. But you need to know these numbers. If you want to earn $10,000 a month in, um, inside MLM, provided that your pay structure is not binary, because binary is a completely different story, um, then binary is even worse. You, uh, if you don't know what binary is, I'll just quickly say it. Binary is where you have one leg and another leg and you build two separate teams and your company will pay you out on your lowest uh, performing leg. So whatever you're doing, you will always get paid out the lower amount. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about this in the next slide here. But with being on a more generalized basis, you, you want to be closing 100 sales a month to be generating $10,000. And now hear me out if you guys are like, what the hell is this all about? No, it's not like that. Like my business is totally different. No, it's not. So you need to be closing three to four people every single day into your business. I'm not doing that. I'm happy if I close three to four people a month in my business. And I'm gonna show you why in a few minutes here that I don't need to close more than three to four people a month in my business because of um, the numbers, right? So look at this here, right? Please just look at these numbers here. You talk to a thousand people, you get a thousand sales. You're talking to 30 people a day, you get three to four sales. Now this is what comes in. Here comes your curveball. The average retention rate of an MLM distributor is 15 to 20% in the first year. Over 95% of network marketers will end up spending more money to stay in business than they ever, than they do making money. This is the truth. These are real numbers. They're scary. And when you start incorporating this, that only 15 to 20 people, 15 to 20% of people are going to stick around. These numbers are very much truthful. You will always be in a hustle mode. You will always be in a hustle mode. You can talk to any person in MLM that is high, high up there. And if it's a pyramid scheme, then it's a pyramid scheme. Those people are making tons of money. But if they're high up in MLM, they are still continuing to hustle themselves. <laughs> Kid, this keeps coming back. Hey, Jakey. They will always need to hustle. Trust me. Been there, done that. Got the badge. So, right? 15 to 20%. Now, let's just talk about why this happens. Why do so many people leave MLM? Why this doesn't work out? And here we go. Why so many people never achieve their MLM goals? Requirements, right? There's confusing comp plans. How many people have seen a network marketing business where there's 20 different pay, um, ways to pay you out? To me, when I see something like that, I find that it creates a lot of chaos and it creates a lot of confusion. It's one of those things where people get really hyped up thinking, oh, I can get paid out all these different ways. But in, in reality, it actually um, kind of masks a low, low pay structure. Um, and right, how can I give you guys an example here? A business that I worked with, right? Say. Um, one person on on your your leg in binary, right? Say one person on one leg purchased one product, and then somebody on the other on your other leg purchased the exact same product inside your um, your t allotted time for your pay. You earned an extra twenty dollars. Like it's just really dumb little things, uh, or a one time payout bonus, or whatever, right? Like the things that. Ugh, it's creating a lot of fluff around um, uh, an illusion that there's a lot of money to be made by saying there's many, there's 10,000 different ways to pay you out when in reality is it's a cover up of trying to hide numbers like this of how much work really needs to be put in. So stocking up on inventory, that's not 
not every single comp plant or business out there has it, but a lot of people do need to do that, send out samples, whatever, right? Monthly qualifications. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of comp plans out there inside the MLM where you need to um, be hitting certain point ranks. You need to, um, oh, I got them on here. I'm not going to keep repeating. Okay. So like the right, you need to hit ranks. You need to, um, to be able to even get paid out. You need to maintain your ranks to get the certain commission amounts that, um, that you want to qualify for. There's expensive mandatory auto ships. MLM's notorious for this. This is why over 95% of network marketers will end up spending more money in their business than they ever do making money because they're chasing that um, payout. They need to put money in every single month with these auto shipments so that they can actually get paid out. They're lineage dependent, they're bi there's binary requirements. Um, these are all structures of, uh, of your compensation plan that you do need to know prior to investing years and years and years in a business, hoping that if you hustle long enough, that it, it'll all pay off. Um, so here's an, here's the recruiting reasons why, um, ML, so many people never achieve their goals. <sighs> Who's done this list of a hundred plus people or your dream list talking to your therapist, your doctor, your dog walker, your, the lady at Walmart, your Starbucks barista, every single person you've ever met or ever will meet. It's crazy. It's crazy because this list of 100 made sense back in the 70s when Jim Rohn first got into Herbalife. It, your list of 100 people now just talking to random people, we have the internet. Come on, you guys. We can definitely step it up here. I think this is the biggest BS of all time. If some you're if you're being mentored and someone's telling you to make a list of a hundred people, um, run because this is this that model does not work anymore. This actually scares the shit out of people and will cause people to block you and avoid you. <laughs> a lot of these things will. Cold messaging. We're in the online space. I'm going to keep saying this over and over again. There's so many strategies online today to create solid value and impact in people's lives that you should never, ever, ever be cold messaging somebody. Hosting parties. <laughs> I've been there, done that. And one of my network marketing businesses that I was with, we were hosting five parties a night or five parties a week. Sorry. We were around the clock working my full-time job, hosting parties at night. It was crazy uh, spamming people. That's like, you know, sending out tons and tons of messages about your product service, whatever it is that you're promoting, sending out samples, been there, done that, wasted a ton of money on it, constantly post about your products or service. Nobody wants to see this. Sure. You can talk about it here and there, but if you are constantly talking about it, people are going to start shutting you off on their social media because they don't want to see that stuff. People don't want to be sold. If you don't know that, you need to know that. People don't want to be sold. People like to make the decisions for themselves. You don't need to prospect everywhere you go, and I don't encourage it. Asking people to share your offer on their social media. I get this a lot lately, and I wanted to throw that in there. Because if you have ever asked me to promote on your behalf, and I said no, please understand that I value my following and I want to be able to create massive value for my following. I am not just going to go and start spamming them with random offers that they're not interested in. <sighs> Let's talk about direct sales here for a minute, right? Traditional direct sales. So we're moving out of MLN here. Now we're going to talk about direct sales. Direct sales is where um, you sell something like an iPhone, right? an iPhone and you get a commission for it. I put 20% here. So you get a 20% commission on a direct sale. So every single person you per sell to, so this is kind of the same, same kind of thing as affiliate marketing. So direct sales, affiliate marketing, you get a percentage off of each person that you recruit or that you get to purchase. And it can be nice. The only problem with this is, um, you're not really building off of a team, so you're never really going to have that team um, support, the team uh, leveraging team efforts, and you don't get the mentorship that you would need um, from your upline because they're not getting any sort of um, value or uh, incentive out of helping you. It's a very um, 
just one-on-one -on -one kind of basis thing, right? You sell to a person, you sell to the next person, you sell to the next person. Can be done, right? People can make a lot of money of it out of it. You need to have very strong marketing strategies in place for this because this is something, again, you're not going to be able to leverage um, a team effort. So unless you do see um, there are some comp plans out there, I'll, I'll say some one like click funnels if you're building um, uh, funnels uh, for your marketing strategies, they do have a compensation plan where they pay out 20% to the first person that you sign up. And if that person signs up somebody else, you get a 10% commission, which is kind of cool because then you do get, um, you can leverage a little bit of somebody else's efforts, not a whole lot, but you know what? Uh, it, it can add up and especially when you're in an, in an online space and if you are using um, uh, platforms to for your marketing, uh, make sure that they do have some sort of an affiliate program because that's a second stream of income you can bring in. I like to think of direct sales and affiliate marketing as a way to create a second or third, fourth income stream based off of the business that I run. So, um, I wrote on here, leaders become selfish and less invested in their downline success because it makes more sense for them to earn the money recruiting directly, right? If they're signing, if they can recruit somebody or over you, they would create earned 20% commission. So it's, doesn't create this high vibe, um, tribe, let's say, right? Everybody wants to be able to work inside of a community of people that are actually helping them become the best versions of themselves, become very empowering in the online space and make massive impact. And these models just don't really provide that. So let's talk about here um, why high ticket hybrid comp plans work. This is the one strategy that I use in the online space. Let's just go back here, right? Only one model provided me true financial and time freedom. And this is what I'm gonna share with you guys here. So you guys can, if this is what you're looking for is true financial and time freedom, you can either ask me about um, the business that I, I leverage, or you can go out and look for um, a hybrid comp plan like this. Um, I haven't seen one that uh, comes close to it, but by all means, uh, feel free to find something that is for you. Um, this is the best way to be able to generate time and financial freedom. If you look at these online influencers online today, a lot of them are leveraging high ticket comp plans. And I'll explain to you why there's no deranking. Once you make a sale, that sales there forever, whatever position you hit that you're in that position forever. There's no deranking. And I'll show you guys a little bit more of that in a second here. There's no auto shipping. So there's no monthly um, payments that need that um, qualifications or anything like that, that you have to keep um, paying into in order to be getting paid out your commissions, which is really cool because this, I think the auto shipping is one of the number one reasons why people quit um, MLM. There's no monthly qualification, so you don't have to worry about hitting certain, um, having a certain amount of volume or, or points or, or whatever it's called in your business or any business you've looked at. There's no qualifications. There's no stocking up on products. Sorry, I need some water. No cold messaging or spamming people. No sending out samples. No complicated comp plans. I'm gonna show you a little bit more of this in a second here. No duplication of bad behaviors. Bad behaviors is this kind of stuff here. All of this, all of this old um, way of doing things. Uh, marketing and branding and transparency in the online space has evolved so much that these things are don't exist in the online space to be successful. Um, where do we leave? No bad behaviors, no binary requirements. That's kind of what I was talking about where you have to build two separate teams and you get paid out on the lower portion. So none of that kind of stuff, right? <sighs> there is clarity on how to achieve your goals, right? I'm going to show you guys very specifically. If somebody asked me how they could make $10,000 in my business right off the get-go, I could show them exactly what they had to do to earn $10,000 empowering mentorship. When you work with high ticket um, compensation plans, 
people are making a lot of money and people are investing a lot of that money back into themselves and back into their teams. Why? Because the more that we can give out, uh, the more keeps coming back in. This is a, a very powerful money mindset that we develop as, um, as entrepreneurs. We can't expect something for nothing. And a lot of the times in this online space, people are promising something for nothing. They're promising finance, time and financial freedom for, um, without having to do anything, right? Basically it's easy money. No money is easy money. They're, is an immense amount of personal growth. And a lot of the times it has to come from um, reconditioning your mindset, reprogramming, uh, um, limiting beliefs that have been carrying around in your life for so, so long. It's you, There's so much diving into um, rebuilding yourself in a, in a uh, more empowering way. If you want to become a millionaire, you don't just step into that. You need to be able to become that person that would, that can, um, uh, handle, have, uh, a million can handle having a million dollars in their bank account without going and blowing it on stupid things. Right. Because then you'll end up right back at the beginning again. It, it happens time and time again. There is so much work that needs to be done. So empowering mentorship, legacy residuals, where your commission will get passed down to your children and your, um, um, I'll show you a little bit, actually, I don't know if I even have it in the slides. Le le legacy residuals, right? Some network marketing companies have it, some don't, but if you were to pass away, instead of your business just diminishing and never existing again, it gets passed down to your children and your children's children. It keeps going on and on and on. So whatever you have built in your lifetime, it will get passed down to your children, which is huge. It is creating, um, a new form of security versus what we all have been taught of just like retirement funds and putting away money and letting it sit in a bank so a, a bank can go and make money on your money, right? Like, Why are we putting money in banks so banks can make money off of our money when we could be borrowing money from banks so that we could use their money to make money? You guys, you guys follow me here? I'm going to do a separate video on that, on how we can leverage other people's money to make money, because this is huge. It's something we all need to learn. Um, leverage your margins to generate and attract the perfect leads. So in the online space, we all have that ability now to be able to market and um, tap into um, platforms like Facebook ads, where we can actually target the exact person we're looking for to um to see uh, our um, value, to see what, what we are offering, to buy our products and without ever having to market to people that are just not interested in what we're doing. So we can actually have that ability of people coming to us through our ads, wanting to purchase from us, wanting to join our teams, wanting to build businesses with us without us ever having to reach out to anybody. And I'm going to show you guys, I'll give you an example here in just a second of how we can how you need to make sure your margins add up because if you're only making a hundred bucks off of a product or off of a commission, how much, um, how much marketing uh, room do you have to be able to be bringing in leads? Um, abundant team culture, very similar to like empowering mentorship. We all work together when everybody is making an immense amount of money and making a lot of money and helping impact each other's lives, being able to bring moms and dads home to be with their kids, being able to pay for medical bills for grandma and grandpa, being able to travel the world, being able to uh, open up a dog sanctuary, whatever, <laughs> all of those kind of things. We are allowing ourselves to really uh, create bigger visions for ourselves continuously and it constantly evolving. Uh, learning the skills and strategies required for long-term success, right? The skills and strategies. These things are so important. I'm going to go, I want to go back to this really quickly here. Um, this, these low ticket items. Yes, you love them. Yes, it's completely changed your life. Yes, it took away your anxiety of going to Walmart. Um, yes, your uh, protein shake or nutritional shake helped you lose 500 pounds. Yes, these things are all amazing, but if your comp plan isn't equally amazing, you are getting 
you are not reaping the rewards of your your passion right you can love your products you can love you can love things right without feeling obligated to be um cutting your value down on your efforts put in because essentially if you're only making a hundred dollars commission or 20 bucks commission off of each sale you make that's the value you're putting on all of the time and effort you put into actually closing that sale like wouldn't it make more sense if you are busting your butt and evolving as a human and wanting to create massive impact, wouldn't, you, wouldn't it make more sense that you put a higher value on yourself <laughs> uh, for your effort? So duplication of good behaviors. This is pretty much all of this kind of stuff, right? We are able to uh, teach people how to really um, create transparency in the online space, to create impact um, that goes many tiers down and really change many, many lives in a short amount of time. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys here what I mean about um, margins and stuff like um, why hybrid comp plans are so, so powerful, especially in the online space, especially for people that are wanting to create time and financial freedom, um, right? There's great products out there. The product I work with, um, there's no competition right when you enter something like high ticket sales um there isn't going to be a lot of competition and um the product that i use there is no competition there's nothing that even comes remotely close so it, it's super nobody has to go and say shop around or whatever so um it's a one one thing you either want it or you don't and it's as important as breathing so uh here we go so i'm just going to show you guys here just an example of the compensation plan that I use. I'm not going to get into any of the products or anything like that. I'm just going to show you the numbers because that's kind of what we're here for is just talking about the numbers. So your first two sales, right? I'm going to show you guys here. You make a one-time investment. Um, there, you can come in at different, um, different investment options, but we're going to use a very basic one of $5,000. The highest end one is about 10,000. So I want to keep it very generalized and lower on the lower scale, just so you guys can see um, just how achievable um, creating time and financial freedom really is. Okay. So one-time investment, that means um, they, somebody buys in with this investment, gets their product uh, and they're in business for life. There's none of this. They don't quit. They're in it unless they unless they don't want to be a part of it. Then they then they can quit. They can do whatever. But they don't. There's no qualifications ever again. You're in it forever. So this say you go and make one to two sales, right? Three hundred forty dollars. Three to ten sales. Six hundred eighty dollars. Eleven twenty sales. Thousand twenty dollars off of each sale, um, and it goes up. So if somebody were to ask me if I got into business with you, how many sales would I have to make off the get go? Well, if you're gonna make be selling um, on the one-time investment of five thousand dollars, you would need to make fourteen sales from the start of the comp plan to reach ten thousand dollars commission. So, what does that mean? You would need to go and make a sale here and a sale here. So, you make two sales here, so three hundred forty dollars each, and then you would need to make your sales here, um, six hundred dollars each, right, and then so on. So, up to your fourteen sales. But so what happens here now is you have now gone through the ranks, right? These are kind of like getting a raise each time you make a, um, a, a certain amount of sales and then you never dequalify again, all the way up to $2,040. Now inside this plan as well, there's many different ways of creating even more income and more residual and more revenue. And I'm not gonna get into that because it's mind blowing. And if you guys wanna know more, you can hit me up on it. Um, so the really cool thing here is yes, off the get go, you need to hustle a little bit. You need to get 14 sales in to create $10,000. But then what happens here is once you hit, get up here and you hit 101 sales, it takes you about five sales to reach over $10,000 a month. And I'm not talking about just you making sales. I'm talking about your entire team making sales. Because what a hybrid comp plan is, it's like network marketing. It's kind of, right? It's network marketing. It's like MLM, but it's not. There's no weird comp plans. It's all very straightforward. And it goes, I'm going to show you guys here. I'll give you an example. 
So somebody, right, say I, I bought in. I bought in on a $5,000 package and I went and sold to John and uh, Nancy. And uh, that's a woman, so let's call her Joanna. <laughs> so I make $30, $340 off of Joanna and Nancy. So $340, $340. Now Nancy goes and sells to her three friends here. So I would make $340 off of each person. And this goes down six tiers down. Now I go and sell my third sale to John. And now I make $680 off of John. Now John goes and sells to uh, Rick and Mike. Uh, so I make $600, $680 off of each of those people. Now Mike goes and sells to Rick and uh, uh, Dave. All right, so then I make $600, $680 off of that person and that person, all the way six tiers down. It goes on and on and on and on. It's crazy. And it adds up really, really, really fast. And this creates really, really, really good habits because people are making a lot of money. There's none of this other stuff where going back here, network marketing, where you're making very small commissions, direct sales, where you're making commissions just on your own efforts, online coaching, where you're trading your time for money, um, create tra tra trading your energy, all of that kind of stuff. Drop shipping, where you're a, a sole um, entrepreneur running a business or hiring um, employees to run a store, a virtual store for you. You're not building stores again, trading time, websites, build trading time and energy and frustration and all that kind of stuff. Hybrid direct sales. Oh, move that is the number one way to provide true financial and time freedom. Let's just look at this again, right? If you're making, uh, if you hit your 101 sale, you are making $2,040 off of each freaking person and each person that each person sells to. It's so crazy how people think, this is, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick rundown here. When I first got into this, I thought selling cheaper products were easier. They're not. It takes the exact same amount of effort to sell a $5,000 product as it does a $500 product and a $50 product in the online space. There's no difference. But the really cool thing is here is say I'm making $1,020 on a sale. I could go and run a Facebook ad for five bucks a day for 30 days, whatever the math is on that, 200 bucks or something. Um, even at, say I spent $500 to accumulate a customer. I still made $520. And, and if you have seen Facebook ads and how they run and how you can target people that are actually looking for the things you are selling, it's not that hard to actually get purchasers, right? We have those margins, we have that wiggle room. It costs you $100 to accumulate a customer, you're earning $900, even here, right? Yes, the margins are a little bit lower for your first two sales, but like, <laughs> come on once you get up here you have so much wiggle room to actually leverage the automation of the online space have people coming to you you can be sitting on the beach you can be hanging out with your kids you could be doing whatever the hell it is that you want to be doing and you could be bringing in customers bringing in team partners bringing in business partners that are going to build with you and are going to create a massive ripple effect of impact in people's lives. This is how people leave their jobs for good because when you hit certain ranks as well, as you go up even past this, there's lifetime residuals, monthly residuals that come in. Um, I'm not gonna go too far into this. I just wanna show you guys what hybrid um, comp plans look like, high ticket hybrid comp plans look like. They're not these network marketing um, plans where you have to talk to a thousand people, make a hundred sales. If you've made a hundred sales in, in hybrid sales, you're making over a hundred thousand dollars here. You're making $10,000. Like it's the numbers, right? It's the fundamentals that we all need to learn about. The reason why so many people want to work with me now, uh, is because I have such a diverse experience or background 
in the online space of what works and what doesn't work. Yes, all these models work and yes, you can make money off of all of them, but they're not all going to provide you long-term freedom and impact. Impact meaning being able to help other people create um, a better life for themselves, being able to empower them and allow them to uh, invest in themselves and invest in their business and be able to feel what it's like to actually change people's lives. Yes, if you are in network marketing, your products I'm sure are changing people's lives. There's so many great products out there, but what's happening is we get so hung up on this like weird thing about how great our products are that we don't care if we're generating enough income or creating enough value that we believe we should um, be uh, ranked at our value worth or, net, or the worth that we are provided. It goes back to now saying that you love your nine to five job and that you don't care that you're getting only paid 20, 30 bucks an hour when really you should be getting paid 80, 100, $200 an hour only because you love it. Just because you love something doesn't mean that you should be devaluing yourself. You should always love yourself the most. And if you have the right products in place and if you have the right compensation plans in place and you're able to create the right margins and be able to build massive impact inside of your teams, this creates long-term freedom and impact. Um, I'm going to leave you guys at that. And um, if you guys have questions at all, feel free to connect with me. We, I am always looking for people that are actually really invested in wanting to build a business online. Uh, real, real viable, value-packed, transparent business. Um, we're not the type of people that go and spam people. Any of these things, we don't do it. I don't teach people to do any of that kind of stuff. I teach people to do this kind of stuff. If you want to go out and find your own stuff, um, own high-ticket compensation plan, like you're more than, go ahead, you're more than welcome to. There's um, other opportunities out there. I study compensation plans. If you guys know me, you know my past. I am all about knowing the competition that's out there. Um, I've yet to see anything come similar to this. Um, the product or the business that I work with, the company I work with has been around for 45 years. They have a, their compensation plan is patented and nobody's come close to it. Um, with that being said, everybody's more than welcome, obviously, to go and find what is best suited for them. If you do want to learn more, feel free to connect with me. Do not feel obligated to. We're doing good. <laughs> uh, if you guys do have any questions, though, please feel free to connect with me. If you have questions in regards to any of um, the any of my background, if you have questions, if you're in drop shipping and stuff like that, I have a drop shipping group that I, I hold for people that free group with that I provide step-by-step um, -step training. If you do want to take a look at that, if you absolutely do not ever want to talk to people, you don't care about having a bunch of time freedom, you just want to be able to be on the backside of things making money, dropshipping might be for you. Feel free to connect with me. I can add you into the group. Um, if you are looking for long-term freedom and impact, connect with me on the hybrid direct sales and I'll explain more to you about it. Um, we do have a group dropping very soon here where it's going to be an eight day intensive training um, based around hybrid direct sales and the massive impact that's creating inside the online space and inside people's lives today and why there's, it's so powerful in this digital era. Um, if you do want to get information on getting inside of that group, what day are we at today? It's February 18th. We just have a videographer um, going through some final marketing stuff for us and we should be having it out hopefully in the next two weeks here. So feel free to connect with me on that. And with that being said, I'm going to stop this and stop talking. My voice is getting sore. How do we stop screen sharing and stop share? Hey. Anyways, thanks for joining me. And if you did get any value from this or if you know anybody, <laughs> this is my kid again. If you know anybody that is looking to get into the online space and would like information of what kind of directions they should go in, I'm more than happy to assist them. I'm not going to steer somebody in any way, um, in any direction. Uh, everybody has their own um, path that they need to take. And sometimes you do need to go through many, many failures to know exactly what works best for you. And in that was my case, I had to go through many, many failures, try many, many things to know in fact where, um, 
my vision was best aligned and be able to uh, find the right people to work with as well, because that's huge. If you don't have the right people empowering you to level up, don't ever let people plateau you and say that what you're making is good enough because that is disempowering to everybody. And especially if we're working in group settings and teams and um, wanting to create massive impact, we should never limit anybody because it's never any of our positions to tell people where they should limit themselves and what the limit is because there is no limit in the online space. So that being said, peace out.